AOPS Volume 1 to Basics Number 75. The rails of a railroad are 30 feet long as the train passes over the point where the rails are joined. There's an audible click. The speed of the train in miles per hour is, is approximately the number of clicks heard in how many seconds. So this is a perfect type of problem where the information given is pretty elusive because you need to carefully read to understand what it's saying. What does it mean to say as a train passes over the point where the rails are joined, there is an audible click? The key words are where the rails are joined and that the rails are 30 feet long. Since the rails are 30 feet long, that means that for every 30 feet, there must be another rail. So that means, in other words, for every 30 feet, there is an audible click. Because for every 30 feet is where another new rail is going to be joined with another rail. So with this in mind, how many clicks are there in one mile? We're told that there are 30 feet for one click. So then how many feet are there in one mile? Because we need to find it in the terms for which we're calculating the velocity of the train. These were told that the velocity of the train is, is measured in miles per hour. So we must convert 30 feet to somehow correlating with miles and hours. So for one good unit of transformation to understand is that one mile, there are 5,280 feet. You need to understand this very thoroughly and memorized because word problems will often quiz you on this. So with this in mind, how many 30 feet are there in 5,280 feet? Because then it will tell us how many clicks there are in one mile. So 5,280 divided by 30 should yield 176, meaning there's 176 clicks in one mile. And we're almost done here. Since we're told that 176 clicks are in one mile, then how many clicks are there in X miles? Well, that means there are 176 clicks times X in one mile. And how many seconds are there in one hour? Because we're told that the train is measured in miles per hour and we need to find it in miles per second. So, or not miles per second, clicks per second. So 176 times X would be the number of clicks in X miles. And then one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. So the denominator becomes 3,600 seconds. And now we've successfully transformed it in terms of clicks per second. And we want this to be approximated. So since we want it to be approximated around 176, the nearest whole number, to get 180 clicks per 3,006 hundred seconds and if we evaluate this this will become x clicks times x 180 oh sorry not 180 clicks sorry my bad it's supposed to be 176 x but then we rounded it to 180 times x so 180 x divided by 3600 will be x clicks per 20 seconds so this means that in 20 seconds there will be approximately the speed in miles per hour of the train in terms of seconds. And that is our solution to the question, which is 20 seconds. Because they're trying to ask us the speed of a train in miles per hour is approximately the number of clicks heard in how many seconds. So it's 20 clicks per second, which is the approximated speed of the train.